What's up, YouTube? I'm here with the top three mini drones under $100. On the left, we got the T Rock T18. In the middle, we got the Amita S20 Lite. And on the right, we got the High Tob M Max. They're all brushless, foldable, and under 250 grams. They don't have any GPS, no gimbal, and a pretty short range. So I'm gonna break down the specs for all the drones, tell you what I like and what I don't like about it, and I'll go from number three to number one. Let's do it. All right, let's start with the t rock T18 on the left. This is the winner of my last top three budget drones in my collection. It's a great drone. It has a 2K camera, Wi-Fi FPV, optical flow. It does flips. It weighs 182 grams and has a 20 minute flight time. Flies well, very maneuverable. Has a decent camera on it for what it is. It's better in the wind than the other two because it weighs a little bit more. But I kind of don't really like the look, you know what I mean? That's the only thing about this thing. It doesn't really look that great. All right, in the middle, the Amita S20 Lite. Nice looking drone. Has a 4K camera with a micro SD card slot. Has Wi-Fi FPV. Has a circle fly function. Optical flow. Does flips. Has a find my drone function. And it has an 18 minute flight time. So overall, it's a great flyer. Nice and small, can fit in your pocket. Has a great camera but it's not so good in the wind due to the weight. All right, so the High Top M Max has a 1080p camera, Wi-Fi FPV, optical flow, it does flips, has an obstacle avoidance sensor at the top, it weighs 128 grams, and has an 18 minute flight time. Very nice looking drone, great flyer, nice and fast, has some nice lights on it. The obstacle avoidance actually works, but it's not that good in the wind at all, and has a really bad camera. All right, so you guys got all the specs, the good and the bad. Let's go over them real quick. t rock T18, nice flyer, does some good flips. Better in the wind than these other two because it's heavier, but I just really don't like the look. The Mita S20 Lite has a 4K camera with a micro SD card slot, find my drone feature, but it's just not that great in the wind. The High Top M Max, faster than the other two. The best looking, I think, of the other two but the camera just really sucks and it's terrible in the wind. All right, so which one would I pick as number three? I would say the High Top M Max. Nice looking drone, has some great lights. It flies faster than the rest of these things, but the camera is just too bad, you know what I mean? The fact that it has brushless motors, obstacle avoidance, and it looks like the DJI Mavic 3, it should have a way better camera than that. So number three. All right, so which one of these is number two and which one is the winner? I would have to say the t rock T18. Great drone overall, flies great, does some nice flips, has some lights for night flying. The camera is pretty decent for what it is, brushless motors, but I really just don't like the look of it. <laughs> That's just about it. All right, so the obvious winner, the Amita S20 Lite. Awesome drone, guys. Flies great. Has an amazing camera with a micro SD card slot. Brushless motors, find my drone feature. Actually works, guys. Has some lights on it for night flying. I love this drone. Best drone for under $100 in my collection. Thanks for watching.